Yes, sir. My tricker. Back up in this thing, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy videos that are only just the tip of the iceberg, man. Let's do it. I was watching videos of the eclipse. I couldn't see it today in New York because it was raining all day. And I saw live footage of the eclipse and I saw this. Emotional right now. Oh, there we go. Did you see that? I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna play it again. What was that? I'm gonna zoom in more and slow it down this time. What was that? If it was a solar flare, why did it come straight out of the moon? Why does it look like a, a, a window opening up? And why is there smoke coming out? I, again, it's three o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep. Maybe I'm crazy, but that looked really weird. Since the moon, as we know it, is a solid object, you definitely shouldn't be able to see light through it. And it didn't look like a camera glitch, bro. This is a real Truman Show moment. The Amazon River is at its lowest level in more than a century as the drought in Brazil continues. As tributaries that feed into the Amazon dry up, boats are being left stranded, cutting off supplies to remote villages. Mais difícil é o transporte da água, né? A gente tem que se deslocar uma faixa de 30 a 40 minutos para ir ir e vindo, né? Essa é a parte mais difícil. At the port of Manaus, where the Amazon and Rio Negro meet, the water level has dropped 4 meters in a year, according to its website. The drought has affected 481,000 people, local authorities say. A drought this bad in a rainforest is alarming, bro. We need the rainy season to come or harp to press the button or something. They found out that chimpanzees, they're starting their own religion. Chimpanzees? Awesome. Wait, what? Like, what like, kind of religion? No, it's crazy. Yeah. So they studied and they realized like they after studying, the banana. I don't know, but they have footage and uh -huh. chimpanzees have a ritual of picking up a rock and slamming it at a tree and then getting excited. But they would all do it. Yeah. It's like, it's almost become a culture. So that's like their side of the cross. So it's like, like who knows? Who knows? But it's it's a phenomenon because everybody starts doing it. Like once one starts, all of them start doing it and then they do it together. It looks more like they invented a new sport than a religion, like a chimpanzee version of darts. I need all my 80s and 90 babies to come here because if you are a Michael Jackson fan, you're going to be like, what? What's going on with this Mandela effect? Honey, who knows the words to smooth criminal? I do. I do. Do you? Because I guarantee you don't. So when he says, Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal, right? Wrong! It's not you've been hit by, you've been struck by. Whatever do I mean, let me show you. Does anyone want to tell me what the f is going on with that? The amount of covers that I've watched on YouTube of this song that say, you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Yeah, what? I don't believe this. I don't believe this. This isn't correct. Somebody got to be pulling my leg. They really got to be at this point because there's no way that's correct. I feel like this song has been played at almost every party around the world and we all recite the lyrics you've been hit by, you've been struck by. But let me know what y'all remember, bro. This might actually be a real Mandela effect. Oh dear. Oh dear. This guy, he warned us. He warned us. But of course, we're not listening. So we all of course know Stephen Hawkins. The guy was an absolute genius. He told us and warned us about lots of things, many of which have happened. By no means is this guy stupid. Now, a very big thing he spoke about and actually warned us about was alien. 2015, Stephen Hawking spoke. He said that he was all for finding alien life and everything, but warned against actively reaching out to them. Using humanity's own behavior as a sign that they may not be friendly. He said that aliens could be vastly more powerful than us and may not see us any more valuable than we see bacteria. Now, why am I saying all this? Scientists are wanting to reach out to aliens. First of all, by attracting them with nude images. Yeah, I know and also by giving them our exact location. So shooting out into the atmosphere our exact location so whatever's out there can find us. And yes, scientists are actually wanting to do this despite all the warnings we've been given. So 
Let me know in the comments what you think. I agree that we should hold off on sending a beacon out with our location until we know what we're dealing with because if an alien race does pull up, I'm pretty sure they won't be here for a sightseeing tour. Yeah, they're all gonna be, they're all right there, yeah. Watch, watch, watch. I don't know if those are hermit crabs or not, but that just awakened my trip of phobia. Island appears to have broken loose and is traveling upstream against the current. I was representing the Geographical Society of Canada on a boat trip that was traveling around the northern tip of Vancouver Island. It's very remote. Nobody lives there. There's no roads. It's just a wonderful piece of pristine wilderness. As he makes his way along the channel, he comes across a small island that seems to have taken on a life of its own. It was in the Nakwato Rapids. It has some of the fastest tidal flow in the world. So the flow of the water changes direction several times a day. And while I'm filming, I'm focusing in on the waves and the rocks. George's video shows a view of the channel with a small tree-covered islet in the middle. But while the boat appears to float along very slowly, the island rushes past it at an alarming clip. The island appears to have broken loose and is traveling upstream against the current. George posts his video online and everyone who views it joins in on his confusion. We know that islands don't move. They don't float. They're not boats. They're pieces of land that are sticking up out of the water. Why is this thing on the move? But journalist Aaron McCarthy says it's not the only island reported to be in motion. There's also El Ojo, or I Island, in Argentina. It's almost perfectly circular, and it constantly moves and rotates. And according to some sources, locals believe that the circle within a circle is a representation of God on Earth. Other people theorize that is actually covering up a hidden underwater alien base. And that has led believers of this theory to say that that's proof that something otherworldly is at work here. An island moving upstream in general should be impossible. Even if it did get detached, all those boulders should weigh it down, bro. This is what Dolly Parton meant by islands in a stream. I think I saw a couple frog legs sticking out. I just don't know why it looked like they covered in shaving cream. Then we wrapped up the fish and shipped it off to a lab for some DNA testing. Now the troubling findings. 68% of the samples turned out to be a different fish than we ordered, usually a cheaper variety. Can I get two orders, please, of white tuna? In New York City, every time we ordered white tuna, we got something entirely different, usually a fish called escolar, sometimes referred to as the Exlax fish because it can be hard to digest and cause intestinal problems. Escolar is banned in Japan and Italy. It happened at Ariyoshi restaurant in New York City. We ordered white tuna, but we were given Escolar, which could cause serious digestive problems. Why would you switch one kind of fish for another kind of fish? Switch? No, we, we, we didn't. To prove it, he found his shipping order, but sure enough, when my producer and I took a look, we saw Escolar. This says Escolar. You're not supposed to take the picture. In the yeah, car. yeah. Can you just explain to us, please, what's, what's on there? Because I saw Escolar on that. It says Escolar. I'm sorry. I don't do that. I feel like serving this is just counterintuitive because your customers going to have a terrible time when they leave your restaurant. But whenever somebody say cut off the cameras, they caught caught. They must have used the MK Ultra handbook to produce this show, bro. This serves no purpose at a concert. You won't believe me, but this is actually AI ran by Instagram and Meta themselves. Allow me to introduce you to the new age of social media and interactions. Who should we talk about first? Well, let me introduce you to Billy, Kendall Jenner's AI alter ego managed by Meta. Hey guys, it's Billy. I just want to introduce myself. I am here to chat whenever you want. Message me for any advice. I am ready to talk and I hope to talk to you soon. 
One creator is being paid around $5 million by Facebook's parent company over two years in exchange for six hours in a work at a studio. That quite literally brings the saying of selling your soul to a whole different level. So they'll be posting on Instagram just like any other person would, eating pizza in New York, then she's drinking coffee, and she's following all of her other AI buddies, and there's quite a few of them. So let's try and message one. Let's go to Snoop Dogg. His name is the Dungeon Master, and there is a picture of a massive demon on his profile. So let's ask him what that's about. And I think I'm going to make a whole video just messaging these AI bots to see what they say. But comment down below your thoughts on this, because I am genuinely curious. Five million dollars for six hours of work is incredible money, but at what cost? Not only on your likeness forever, and they can make you do and say whatever they want. Whoever took the time out to do this really turned the petty level up to a thousand, but we gotta applaud the dedication. With the recent release of Pentagon uh, footage of unidentified aerial phenomena uh, and uh, things like Project Blue Book and uh, ATIP and all of these various things, in your former position and currently with the current information that's released, what's your viewpoint on what these objects uh, that seem to defy all laws of physics are? That's a legitimate question now. And the short answer, but not the most meaningful one, is I don't know about this. But when I was president and I had a chief of staff love science fiction, we made every attempt to find out everything about Roswell. <laughs> and I and we also sent people to Area 51 to make sure there were no aliens in a deep <laughs> Because Area 51 is very important. Send? Who do you send to Area 51? Oh, if I told you that. <laughs> no, actually, I, I sent my uh, Sandy Berger, who passed away sadly a couple of years ago, who was my national security advisor. But I said, we got to find out how we're going to deal with this because that's where we do a lot of our our invisibility research in terms of technology like how do we have fly airplanes that aren't picked up by radar and all that so that's why they're so secretive but there's no aliens as i know on the other hand hillary and i went to hawaii in 2018 to the big island where uh, all the telescopes are on top of the mountain you know including the keck telescope the largest in the world and several countries have scientific teams there so after we toured the telescope, we went down and met with them. And I said, do you guys argue about the likelihood of life in outer space? He said, we have huge arguments. I said, you do? He said, oh, we're huge. I said, what's the range? He said, there are those of us who think it's 85% likely and those of us who think it's 95%. <laughs> he said, these are people who spend their lives doing this. He said, we think, in other words, it's very unlikely that there is not life. There are a billion, not a billion planets, a billion solar-like systems. There are lots of mysteries out there, which is why I think we should take good care of this planet. I think we ought to kind of hang on to it if we can. And, <laughs> and I think... And, uh, but I also think it should keep us humble. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. He just gave the longest answer to the simplest question, which makes me think that he definitely knows more than what he's saying. All right, we found another cave way up here on this uh, mountaintop. I'm going to show you guys that this one's sealed off too. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. A metal door. A total metal door. They sealed it up. Let's check down here in this ventilation hole. You can see a little sunlight down there. I can understand sealing off a cave for safety, but I feel like the only reason why that door would have a ventilation hole is if there were people back there working and living.
don't know if there are smudges on the screen or if it's a reflection of something, but it looks like Michael Myers. K Ultra and Rig Sports. Now, a lot of you guys know about the Conor, Conor McGregor one, right? Where Dana White almost like is like the puppet master. So I'm gonna show you something interesting. Um, now look at Conor McGregor. Please. No. Okay, not happening. <laughs> He's like, a, he's just like, right? But notice the way, um, response. Notice so nice. the way he's sitting. You got Dana White right next to him. Look at his, his hands, his posture, all that. Look, right? About Joseph? Look. But then, in this interview, this is the big interview. Look, at, he's sitting the exact same way. Exact same way. You got Dana White with his hand behind him like a puppet. <laughs> But notice the head movements. It's almost like Dana White moves his head like a puppet to make him appear like he's engaged. They both turn their heads, you see. I don't think so. I don't think it's a problem. I've never disrespected any. What is it that, that he did Look at that. the disrespect? So what is it that, that he did the disrespect? So what is it that, that he did? Look at that. That's creepy, bro. Got you to dislike him. This is not a therapy session. No, no, but you and then a lot of people pointed out how at the very end here. But we're not about to fight. Protection. Listen to what he says. We okay? Yes. Okay. But we're not about to fight. So can I shake your head? We okay? Yes. Okay. You back. But we're not about to fight. So can I shake your head? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. You back. And they slaps his 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 uh his leg real loud like a trigger. This is odd because normally Conor McGregor is a lot more loose and rambunctious than this. In these clips, his responses seemed a little robotic, and his posture was stiff as Pinocchio. Rome never fell on the back of the U.S. dollar. We read, "In God we trust," but which God? On the reverse of the Great Seal, we read, "Annuit coeptus novus ordo seclorum," meaning, "May He favor our undertaking in this new order of the ages." These lines were from the Roman mythological tale, the Aeneid. They were spoken by Aeneas' son. Aeneas is the father of Rome. The god in which he prayed to was Jupiter, who is Zeus, who is also Enlil. If this is true, then it make a lot of sense why the White House, U.S. Capitol buildings, and some of the state Capitol buildings were built with that Greco-Roman architectural influence. I'm going to show you some of the predictive programming that has been telling us what the one world currency will be. Now, this is the cover of The Economist in 1988, and there is a lot of things to dissect here. First, it says, get ready for a world currency. And as you can see, the cash is burning right here and the phoenix is rising from the ashes. This symbolizes new beginnings, AKA the new world currency. Now in the middle of the phoenix, you are gonna find the logo for XLM or Stellar. If you guys didn't know, XLM or Stellar is a digital currency. Now we also have Phoenix written on the coin and XRP is greatly associated with the Phoenix. Now, if you guys aren't aware of what ISO 222 is, this is legislation that implements digital currencies into our financial banking system. And these are some of the compliant coins, XRP and XLM is included. Now in the movie Interstellar, they have the XLM or Stellar logo. And on the other movie color, they actually highlight the word Stellar. This is another form of predictive programming. Now, XRP has already been implemented into many financial banking systems, and it will be the future for international bank payments. Digital currency may be convenient in certain situations, but it's risky to be at the liberty of a computer system to be able to purchase items. Cash is just a safety net. Three Gen Z icons. Aren't you like 40? No, no. A long time ago, I met this guy and made a deal where I get to stay 25 years old for forever. What guy? Tall fella, horns, red fur, I don't know, little hooves. Keen, that's the devil, dude. What? I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. That joke was so out of place that nobody in the audience even laughed, bro. And I always wonder why he looks so young still. The Illuminati was, in fact, a real group. 1776 in Bavaria, this man named Adam Weishaupt, he started a secret club called the Illuminati. The whole purpose was to have free thinkers. They could usher in change into culture. How can we make it better? And or how can we gain more control? The Illuminati played a big role in the French Revolution, whispering into people's ears of like, needs to be a change. It started off with a very small group, recruiting people in Freemason lodges, very rich men. And then people were starting to talk and like the leader of Bavaria, he's basically like, I'm seeing what's happening in France and stuff. He said, all secret societies are now banned. So that's where they're like, then we won't do the Illuminati anymore. The free thinking came with more power, 
more control. We are the ones pulling the strings. And he was talking about it in past tense, like it just magically went away. I feel like it's still alive and well today. It's just done in secrecy. And then the nose tracker right there. Make sure you're locked in. All the details. Whoa! <laughs> Oh my god! I don't think this is intended. Nick, what have you done to him? What the Oh, okay, we're reversing on a main road. Okay. I wouldn't even push my luck any further after this. I'll just get out and walk. I asked the water, do you know who I am? Then I froze the water and I was flabbergasted because there was this VA in the ice. My name is Vader Austin. The actual initials of my name were linked in the exact same way that I link my initials naturally. I have used all kinds of words. I wrote the word angel and this beautiful angel formed in the shape of a woman with these wings. I drew the number four and I got the number four in the ice. If this is real, then this would mean that water might have a spiritual characteristic that we just don't know about yet because I'm not sure how else she would be able to imprint her consciousness into it. I bet there's so much wisdom in those books, but they better not let the Vatican see this video. How hard is it for a person growing up in the spotlight and then they get to be an adult? You know what I'm saying? Like how, how hard is that, that life right there? The thing about it is it's not even about the life. See, we have all gone through what we don't know is this experiment and it's kind of trippy, right? So so they have your parents, you, okay? You get a baby by your parent and then parents right that you don't know is your parents I and mean, then they take the disappear when they disappear you're supposed to go hey crazy it's called mk ultra this is what we've all been going through and we are all just waking up from sometimes orlando brown does go off the rails but i'm starting to think that some of the stuff he's saying is rooted in truth i found these in the cambodian jungle does anyone know what they are I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know if this is an insect or something, but it looks exactly like the seeds from the Tree of Souls in Avatar. In the past three years, there have been at least eight government raids across the U.S. involving raw dairy. In this security camera footage, we see agents entering Rossum's kitchen. Wednesday, state inspectors raided the farm with a search warrant. While serving the warrant, they not only put tags and tape on the coolers inside the store, they came in here where people actually get their raw milk out of a tank and they poured a dye inside the tank. As an attorney and a former government employee, I need to point out, I'm scratching my head trying to figure out why is this so important to the government? Why are they stamping down on, you know, the little guy? Maybe it's something in the raw milk that they consider dangerous, but the fact that they busted in like they were about to shut down the cartel, it might be a little deeper than that. Waterproof. Waterproof. Do y'all see it? Look, look at it. I've never seen an Uno reverse car pull a Uno reverse. Maybe it just flew back under the deck. So Audrey found this secret hatch in her basement. I've been terrified by what's behind it. But, and I noticed that there's a crawl space here. Right. So I think we should take it off. All right, so it's moving, but they're like nailed into this wall. It's kind of weird. I don't know what these are, but we're almost there. It's really cold back there. <laughs> it's freezing. <laughs> my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me see the camera. Flash is on. Look at it. Help me get pushed up here. Oh. What the? Dude, there's like some weird in there. I want... There's like antlers and there's like a box. Can you help me get in though? Hold on, wait. I need shoes. This is nasty. I'm in. Oh, well, that hurt, dude. I just slammed my knee. There's like a a crystal ball oh my god dude it's in like the form of a like a, a star like a pentagram thing man if i bring this over there can you take it out all right hold on there's candles on top i don't know i'm trying not to disturb it but they were in form of a star man you grab it oh god that's heavy there's still more stuff let's see what's in the box what 
What? It was probably sealed off for a reason. But once I saw those candles, that crystal ball, and those antlers, I would have to relist the house. There's a conspiracy going around that we just witnessed the first industry plant fan. If you saw the NFL game last night, you saw this woman multiple times. And if you have social media and follow any sports network, they posted her also multiple times. I mean, just look at this person's feed. I've never seen anything like this. All of the news media reporters, all of the social media accounts just posting the same person i mean she's sitting in a suite she has all of the basic fan emotion being excited and then being sad right after and she has the perfect camera angle on her now i think there's info coming out that she's just a massive chargers fan that happened to be on the screen at all times so was she just a fan did she get paid was she a plant let me know what you guys think this one might hold some weight because there's pictures of her circulating on social media wearing a minnesota vikings jersey this mysterious footage surfaced on social social media. At first, it appears that a section of tree falls on its own. But on closer inspection, there seems to be some form of transparent creature camouflaged in the tree, shaking it off. It's like a real-life predator. If you look closely, you can see a large snake falling with the tree branch as well. So maybe that's what happened because if the predator is based on a true story, then we in trouble. After noticing a jelly-like substance on her car after a strong rain in Malaga, Spain, a woman proceeded to record the video that you're about to watch. Pay very close attention. <laughs> Some people on the internet are saying that this has to be some sort of black goo type substance due to the fact that this is not the first time or not the first video where something like this actually happens. I don't know if it's something in the clouds, but water usually comes in three states, bro. Solid, liquid, and gas. So I don't know what this amorphous, gelatinous liquid is. <laughs> We should be putting a lot more resources behind sound levitation research because I feel like if you build a big enough apparatus, you could probably lift up heavy boulders and stones, which could explain how the pyramids were built. So when you hear all the dogs in the neighborhood going crazy at night, I mean, just barking all crazy in the backyard and whatnot, you see that? This is a snake. That's a tree. There's a 200 foot snake in the backyard. That's why they call it. Yeah. I don't think it was 200 feet, but it's definitely big enough to make me not want to stick around and film. Now they're all watching the movie. Look at it. What the? <laughs> Tom Cruise gotta be their favorite actor because they glue to the TV like me when I'm on a Netflix binge. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming and kicking with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy videos in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that sub button. Till next time, y'all take care of yourself. So.